Did you know that Kirby and Chip are moving into the tannery? You know, I'm also going to be doing things over there, too. I've been painting there all week. You have? Have you yeah, been helping them yeah. get, it, get it ready? It's get it great. Together? It's a wonderful space. It's a huge house. I know. They're setting up shop. Yeah. They're opening they a gallery. I'm going to teach music there you five are? days a week. Yeah. That's great. I'm There's really things excited. happening. We're developing a presence while the construction starts, a presence at the tannery, and uh, we put together a little piece. I went and visited Kirby and Chip the other Yay. day. Let's watch it. Um, my name is Carson the Pent Monkey, and I like, um, and I, um, and I am Kirby's and Chip's Pet Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, where are we? We're, we're on the, the back porch. Yeah. The back porch. We're in the back porch. We're waiting for the mint juleps to arrive. Um, and, and in the meantime, this is at the, the crone house, the old crone house at the tannery, the, the uh, world famous uh, Santa Cruz tannery that was in operation for about 150 years here, uh, just north of Highway 1 on River Street. When I was doing the cows about a year and a half ago, I started conversations with Seal Cirillo of redevelopment, who basically has responsibility for this property, about what would happen when we sort of got to this point of transition, and about security and about being a caretaker. So this has been sort of on the back burner for a while with me, and then she called me up about a month ago and asked me if I would be willing to move out here for the duration that the housing's being built, which is about two years. And I said, yeah, under certain conditions, though, we had enough people out here because security is a really important issue for a property this scale. It's 8.5 acres. These are all historic buildings. That's what remains on the site. So they have a lot invested in this, and there's a lot to be done out here. So uh, I agreed to do that, and we're going to have a gallery here. Uh, we have a residence here where four of us will be living, taking care of the property, making sure it's safe. I'm going to get a dog out here. and. It, I'm going to get a dog that's friendly with people, but, you know, good dog. Caretaker dog? Here's the thing. Don't say anything. We're going to name it Chip. I'm Jeff Dunnell. And you? I'm Chip with KSBW. Can you tell me a little more about the tannery? What is the tannery? Well, the tannery actually dates back to the uh, mid-1800s. It was uh, first the original Crone tannery. The Crone sold it to uh, the Salzes, and then the Salzes sold it to the Lessons. So up until 2001, this was an active tannery. Uh, I think the last remaining tannery west of the Mississippi closed down in 2001. As we know, most things got outsourced to China and other places. This part, which you can't see the depth of, goes back about 25 feet. This piece will be torn down, and then the real building is, lays behind it. That's going to be uh, 65,000 square feet of studio space. And who gets to live there? Uh, me and Chip. There's one scary house in mine, and I'm just letting you guys have a go to the, for the barbecue, and then we're going to like go in the scary house, uh, maybe last or maybe first. We don't know yet. Did you get that? This is going to be 100 units of affordable housing, live workspace for artists and their families. It'll go from about where your car is all the way down to that white uh, trunk down there. So over here is what they call the hide house. That's where they used to hang the hides. And it's all cement with, what is it, cedar chips in the middle? Or redwood, redwood, chi chips. redwood chips in the middle, in between the cement for cooling. Um, right now that's being used for storage. Eventually that'll either be a combination of gallery space and studio. The usage for that is yet to be determined. There were some initial things they wanted to do with it, but it looks like that might be slightly problematic. So that's kind of up in the air as to what it will be in the future. However, it is one of the five historic remaining houses that are going to be restored. This is the, the name of the former, uh, when the Salzes were out here, this was the leather shop. So this was a functional store that Jeremy Lezen ran. So we've renamed it the Dead Cow in celebration of what the tannery was. We found a cow on one of their pieces of furniture, and of course, here's our dead cow. Upside down. Upside down. Of course, we could turn it upside down and call it the, the live cow, but we'll wait and see what happens. We, we're going to be bringing a bus up here and bringing people um, on bus from here to downtown and back. Starting on the first Friday of April, we'll be having a, uh, the art bus coming here, the tannery. I think the, 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 the first Friday art tour, tour, also known as FAT, I wanted to call it Friday Art, art Rapid Transit, but that didn't really work. Kind of smells bad. Yeah, it stinks. So, so this is the studio space. This is the studio space that we call the Dead Cow. It's small, but it's beautiful. It's this old store that, as I mentioned to you, that used to be out here. We love the fact that it's got this old wood look to it. So all we're going to do is just paint it white, keep the redwood look to the floor, put some polyurethane down here, and then we're good to go. So we just kind of really like the whole feel out here. 
of the old tannery. The, the tour costs five dollars to get on. You can ride all night. Uh, you can get on and off the bus as much as you want. There'll be a little map that shows you what's going on. A lot of things happening in April coming up. There's a couple of openings down at the mill, the Hyde Gallery and the other space there, the attic, Felix Culpa, uh, chocolate restaurants having an opening, the museum, like I said, Lulu's at the Octagon, and uh, our show out here, which will be uh, pencil work. Come here and park. We have plenty of free parking out here. And what we really are doing is actually this is an opportunity for people to come down here and buy art. So even though you're paying $5, that basically pay, helps us pay for the bus. For that $5, you'll also get a certificate that allows you 10% off the purchase of original art in any of these galleries. So you could be saving hundreds of dollars with this you purchase. Saving hundreds of dollars. So we want people to come down to Santa Cruz, get on the bus, and buy art. That's what we want them to do. I think we're going to give tours of Kirby's room, too. <laughs> tours of Kirby's room. Come down here April 6th. Frightening. <laughs> Frightening. And this is where he keeps the other hat. <laughs> One of the things I hope to really see out of the Tannery Project is kind of ex um, is documenting a lot of the history of, of the Tannery, and, and which was very integral to the history of Santa Cruz. So it's, it's a really, like I said, it's a really exciting opportunity. You know, a lot of places like this go down and they get torn down and put up a Home Depot or whatnot. So I think the, the opportunity to really capture the, the history here is something that's extraordinary that we're, we're really fortunate to have this opportunity. So.